Today is Black Friday. It's all about good deals, and you're not going to want to miss the deal I got on this Ministry of Magic set, and what the hell we're going to do with it. Hello and welcome to Bricks and Toys. My name is Brandon and today I am with the Minstrel of, I mean, Ministry of Magic. This is set number 76403. It's the Ministry of Magic coming in at 990 pieces. Now this Harry Potter set is mostly useless. But why do we have it? Well, that is a very good question and the reason is is we're going to be turning this into a rebrickable model. Now a really fun story about this is when I was redoing the Lego City I was going to put the Natural History Museum up against the assembly square but I didn't like the idea of how it just looks like a box in the middle of the city. I want that corner to have been rounded. And that's why we ended up building the buildings we did in yesterday's video, seeing about trying to round out our own block for the museum where we're going to put it now. So by making these de these decisions, I have a 16 by 32 hole that I don't know what to do with. It just happened to be that once again I was watching one of my favorite YouTubers and he was talking about Brick Artisan again Whoops. And again, Brick Artisan is coming in with another clutch building. Now this one I am going to keep a surprise for the end of this video so you guys are going to want to stay tuned throughout this whole video to see how this is going to turn out. So when I took on this project I had to order about 122 parts plus a minstrel, I mean ministry, of magic set. Now these sets came out in 2022 and they're already retiring by the end of this year if they're not already retired. The thing is, is you can get these on sale anywhere you go. So once again, I turn to eBay for my set. I ended up paying about $60 on eBay and I got scammed. What do you guys know it? I never got a delivery confirmation or anything on my order it never even came to my door and when I went to look up the tracking it just showed a finger in the window pane of the, where they left it at my house and I was like that's not good I called FedEx and FedEx told me you've been scammed so as of the time of filming this hopefully by today when this video comes out I should be uh, allowed to get my money back from eBay's buyer per protection I don't know why they would use a Ministry of Magic to do that scam to where they send the package to a local address in your zip code, but not to your house. That way it looks like you got your package and thus eBay should not refund you. The good thing is, is companies like eBay know about this and they have buyer protection to protect you in these, in these cases. So that's a little bit of fun that I had to get it. But I want to get this video out, and I remember that Target had these sets on sale. Now, these sets originally are $100. And when I first saw it, it was down to $70. And I remember thinking, that's not a very good deal, and I don't need it. But now, I'm in a position to where I need the set now. I cannot wait another four days for one to be shipped. So I'm going to go back to Target and see about paying that $70 price tag that I remember from a month ago. So I get in the car, go down to Target, search Target, and at the random of some back aisle, not even near the toys, I found all of these sets on sale. But this time, they took them down from $70 down to $35. So I got 990 pieces to make today's build for only 35 bucks. Can you guys believe that? I know I can't. I went on and I, and I made sure because 
If these are $35, let's make sure that the minifigures are worth money and any parts are worth it. Unfortunately, everything in this set is generic and the minifigures are only worth a dollar to three dollars a piece so thus I just bought one but if any of these minifigures popped up to be valuable of ten or more dollars a piece I would have easily bought another Ministry of Magic at that price so I would be able to flip it and not only recoup the cost of one set but both and not only that the bag of parts that, that it's going to take for today's build now, for today's build, I know I am short a few parts to fully complete this set. Hopefully, by the time this video comes out, I will have them in the mail. But I don't have any more time to wait. I need to get this rebrickable model done. So, we need to get into this right away. So, I haven't even sorted out the parts yet. But these are all of the extra parts, the 122, that it should take to do the majority of the set. I am missing three little pieces that will pinch it off. I think one's a window pane and two are like lightsaber hilts in gold. That's all I'm missing. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to go ahead, we're going to sort out these parts, go into a time lapse, and get today's build done. After the time lapse, you guys will then be able to see the Ministry of Magic set that I have decided to build from Brick Artisan on Rebrickable.com and we will be putting it into the Lego City. So stay tuned, enjoy the time lapse, we'll be back for the review. Okay, so who's ready to see the Rebrickable Ministry of Magic? And there it is. Now this is a really, really cool Rebrickable model. Starting down from the front, we have the windows. Lots of gold leaf elements. And then we have the, I think it's the flume uh, network fireplace where you can basically go in and out via the fireplaces and then we have the telephone booth which also is represented as the way to get into the Ministry of Magic the other way. The really cool thing is is that's one way to get in and so is that so technically that's like two doors. Coming up we have some gold elements and here we will see the three missing parts that I have to this set. One is a window right behind that sign and two is a piece here and a piece there. So those are the three pieces I am missing to complete this model. Other than that, I was able to get everything else for this model. I, I had a lot of these big pieces in stock, so that made it easy on that. The sides are not much to look at. And here in the back, we have those newspaper windows. And we have whatever this is right here. Coming up to the top, we do have the fountain with the gold wizard. I did put these in as kind of like for the fluming or whatever they call it. So it kind of goes in with that. Again, on the side, just more of those panels and black elements. Really nothing too standout-ish. I did tile off around so that all looks nice and complete. Coming back up here at the top, we will start to take apart the model. 
to get a look at it. So the roof comes off just as we would expect. So coming over here we have Arthur Weasley's office featuring a boom box, a teacup, and some other odds and ends. Really hard to see with my lighting, but it's kind of fun to look at all of his little Easter eggs. Over here we do have Dolores Umbridge, the one that we love to hate the most. I've never hated a character so much more in my life than her. But we have her cat posters and all of that stuff if the camera will focus. Which it won't because it sucks ass. So coming around, we will go take off that floor and go down to the next. Just like that. With this one turned though, I will make it so you guys get some more light in there. Maybe see a little bit better. Then in this floor we have the Prophecies. This is a beautiful piece right here. And then over here we have what looks to be one of the Weizengamut or whatever they call it for the trials right over there. Not too much more on that floor. Then we take off our next level. Move this over so you get a look. And those do fall over. It's like, oh no, the prophecies. But there we go. Next up, in the very least, we have a little desk back here. And there you can see the doorway into the, into the shaft, or kind of how this works. This does go up and down to move your minifigures. Not a really necessary feature. And we do have the entryway, which pops in just like that. So that is the tour. Now let's talk about the minifigures. So let's take a quick look at these minifigures. I have a list on this side of the screen for me to read so I can show you these guys as we come down on them. So starting off, we have the Albert Runecorn, which is also the Polyjuice Harry Potter. So if we take off his hairpiece, you'll see Harry Potter's face on that side and also the hairpiece for Harry Potter that goes on like that. So that is our first minifigure. It does come with a dark brown wand. And then our next is going to be Arthur Weasley, which is hanging out over here. Now in his little suitcase there, he does have a B print tile like you would find in the Winnie the Pooh set. He does have a secondary face. It just looks a little disappointed. So then the next minifigure we're going to discuss is going to be one called Corbin Yaxley. Now this one is going to be this guy right over here. Comes with a dark brown wand as well. Not a very happy face and no secondary face. Then of course there is a Dementor with this weird little accessory right here and the Dementor's cape, just as we normally find. And that takes care of our first block of minifigures. The next up is going to be another Polyjuice Potion one. And this one is Mathilda Hopkirk, and that is also Hermione Granger. And if we look at it, we can see Hermione's face right there. And we also have the other hairpiece to go with that. Now, she is not carrying nothing in her briefcase. And she does have a tan wand. The next one is going to be Mary Catermole, or however you want to say it. Now this is one of the ones that does have the leg printing. Arthur does not. The, the one that Harry Potter is does. This is not a lot of leg printing. Chest printing on all of these. Now with Mary Catermole, see about taking off her hair. She does have a secondary face that looks just a wee bit on the worried side. And then the next one's going to be a Pious Thickness, which is going to be this guy right here. He has a time turner in his suitcase, dark brown wand, and he does have a secondary face. And then we have the B-I-T-C-H herself, Dolores Umbridge. I really hate this character with a passion after reading the fifth book. Cannot believe that she was written so well to be hated so well. 
So we also have her Patronus in the cat form right here in with the set. We have a brown wand, no leg printing, basic torso printing. We do have the Horcrux, which is a Slytherin locket. Her double face is like an O face. Then continuing on, we have Reg Cat Catamole, aka Ron Weasley. Now his print has again no leg print. His print is to resemble being wet. And if you turn him around, you can see Ron's face just waiting for his hairpiece to come back. And then we have the chrome statue, or the pearl gold statue up at the top. Other than that, that is all the minifigures. So with that, let's zoom out and let's finish talking about some final thoughts with this set. So that about does it for the Rebrickable Ministry of Magic. Again, Brick Artisan, he did amazing. I cannot believe that this set has been one of his rebrickable models that I've overlooked. As many times as I hate to admit, I've overlooked it. This is perfect for what I was looking for to kind of fill in that weird space between the assembly square and the back of the palace cinema. The best part about this whole model is the price. Like I said, I paid $35 for the set and maybe another 20 or 30 worth of bricks. You can't even buy a Ministry of Magic set at normal price for that cost. So to have a miniature mod modular building for around $60 is just win, 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 and more wins. So what is next for this set? Well, I need to go and put it into the, the Lego City. And I also want to stage the minifigures around inside of the building because I don't need all these Harry Potter minifigures walking around the Lego City. I do plan on putting them where they should go, whether it's in elevator shafts or in offices. We will put them where they need to be. The one change I did make to the model is, like I said, I did put these green little flume stacks out just to kind of you know complete the whole look of the transitioning flumey whatever they call it I keep forgetting when they you know did apparate through a fireplace but this is a model that if you guys are looking for something small I definitely do recommend I definitely do believe that the 122 additional parts to get are completely reasonably priced on Bricklink and like I said this set is discontinued or already or about to be discontinued so you can get it at an incredible deal the one really cool thing about this model that I do want to say is I actually have been reading the Harry Potter books which is a really cool thing because if you guys watch my videos from the very beginning, you guys will know that we did the Hogwarts Express, the Icons Edition or whatever you want to call it. And when we did that video, I had no interest in Harry Potter. I told the story about how I was abused for reading Harry Potter. The cool thing is, is because of all the Harry Potter stuff going in and out of my house, because of my mom, I've actually watched the movies twice. I'm in the seventh book of reading now. So I have completely 360'd myself all the way around from being anti-Harry Potter out of fear for my life to now putting a building in my own Lego city of Harry Potter after reading almost all of the books at this point. I plan on, on having all of the books done before December. So the, so it's really cool to see the growth right there. So with that everybody, let's go ahead, let's drop this into the Lego City so I can show you guys what it looks like when it's all done, and then we'll say our goodbyes. And there's a detailed look of what it looks like inside of the Lego City. You can't even tell that it's magical. But I did put Arthur walking into the telephone booth just for magical reference. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this thing looks cool? Drop a comment down below. In terms of comments, you guys can now give thanks with the link down below. And when you do that, all that will go into buying future LEGO sets just like this and LEGO projects just like this. You can also comment any sets you guys would like to see. On that one, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching and you all
Have a good one.